Welcome to the news feed. I'm Paris Jackson. We're here in Linwood in a school gym where as many as 70 students from up to seven teams come to practice in an after school robotics program. One of those teams called Chill Out 1778 in the Edmond School District has been making a name for itself, not just here in Washington, but globally. We'll introduce you to the young mind surpassing expectations with big dreams to make it to the World Championships. Being in robotics is extreme dedication. It is just like a varsity sport. A balancing act for 14-year-old Mount Lake Terrace high school freshman Maya Alumada. She's part of a student-led Edmond School District robotics team called Chill Out 1778. That's about 50 members strong. Life is very busy <laughs> for students, especially those taking like advanced classes. Alumada is a programmer. She's the person on the team that figures things out. I'm a freshman in high school, so you know, the math that I'm learning right now is not always enough. So I have to keep challenging myself to learn all these new things, to understand really what goes into getting that game piece on every single time. These students spend up to 20 hours a week practicing together and several more hours on their own. They compete under First Washington, a nonprofit organization offering STEM programs for ages 4 to 18 across the state. Robotics teams are given about two months to learn the season's game challenge and compete. So in the first robotics competition, um, there, a ton of it is, is math and data driven and statistical driven. While we were there, Chill Out ran into a real problem. The chain on the robot skipped and the team quickly fixed it. Edmonds Woodway High School senior Lilia Pearson Ma says that's actually a key part of the competitions. The window we're working in during repairs can be as short as two and a half minutes. There are times when we are going into matches back to back, and so our drive team really needs to be prepared to make quick decisions and repairs like that. Chill out another piece of coral on a branch in level two as we hit 20 seconds. The second piece of coral delivered by Chill Out. In the last two years, the team's lead coach, Steve Winkler, says the team has had its most success. Last year, our robot ended as, as um, 24th in the world out of about 3,500 teams. Um, the season's still early. Right now we're ranked, uh, I believe, in the top 10 uh, worldwide out of about 3,700. Winkler says while the Edmond School District doesn't fund them directly, they show support by allowing them to use a shop in a decommissioned middle school gym to practice. Chill Out's funding is generated through grants, company sponsorships, and fundraisers. And because it is, you know, um, community funded primarily, um, if you're an organization, that is in this industry, reach out to one of those teams or reach out to us, offer financial assistance, offer expertise. Mentors, parents, and students say that kind of support can turn into life-changing opportunities. It's already so transformative from, being, uh, from that ninth grade to 12th grade, and then you've given this opportunity to something they can love and invest in in a very welcoming and, and inclusive community and their confidence grows. If I've taken anything out of this, it's that I get to be a part of something that's bigger than me. The team is heading to the Pacific Northwest District Championship on April 3rd through 5th in Cheney, Washington. Winkler says of the roughly 140 high school teams in the area, about 50 go on to the regional level, and then only 22 go to the World Championships next month. I'm Paris Jackson. Thank you for watching the news feed, your destination for nonprofit Northwest news. Go to CascadePBS.org for more great local coverage.